Uh, REA hit an all-time high yesterday of $104.39 and closed at a record $102.75. Uh, the shares have risen 36% year to date, even though earnings expectations uh, for this year and the next couple of years have been steadily downgraded as the year has progressed. Uh, the market is now deeply divided on this stock. Uh, bulls are calling price targets in the low 100s and the bears, like me, are calling valuations around $90. To get the $100 plus valuation, the bulls are not upgrading their forecasts, but pulling down their WAC uh, in the, to, to get the desired valuation. They're also uh, praying and hoping that the national listings volumes of properties, the main driver of earnings at REA, uh, will recover soon. Uh, REA at the moment remains a hostage of the listings drought. On the most recent data available, newly listed properties for sale in Sydney and Melbourne were down 31% and 20 7% respectively on the same time last year. At that level, new listings were probably at a post-war low, uh, roughly 2.7%, implying a 2.7% churn rate in terms of the percentage of housing stock uh, that's turning over. The long-term trend uh, average is somewhere between 5 and 5.5%, and so roughly half uh, the, the normal level of turnover. There are a broad range of reasons for the lack of sellers. There's economic uncertainty, falling interest rates, lack of a suitable place to invest the funds, and also a FOMO, uh, uh, the fear of missing out on another 10% um, as, as property uh, prices rebound. Um, I guess uh, for many of the uh, investors owning property, swapping a 3 or 4% property yield for a 1% bank deposit doesn't look too appealing at the moment. Uh, sooner or later, the level of churn will return to former levels, and at that time, REA will enjoy a bonanza as listings volumes come surging back to former levels. But in the short term, I am worried that the listings drought could last much longer than the bulls currently anticipate, and the next couple of quarters could be disappointing. For that reason, uh, and with the stock trading on a PER of 38 times, I'm sticking with my reduced recommendation and my price target of $92.07.